There we go. So we've made it to Decatur. We're downtown, and thanks to a special tip, we know that they are shooting the informant live right behind us. All of these people have lined up to try and see what's going on just across the street over there where the bright lights are. We're going to see how close we can get, and we're going to find people who have seen Matt Damon. autographs for people in between yeah, shoots. Yeah, he's a very, very nice man. He, uh, he, afterwards, he always seems to take time to you know, get, get some of the time. Even when he has time, he can get his autographs and he also takes pictures of people. Takes pictures of people. I understand you got a shot with him. Is that on this camera? Yeah. Can, can we see it? There he is with Matt Damon as Mark Whitaker. Can you see it? So we're right across from the set where they're filming the informant. I think we've gotten that point clear by now. But I'm here with Nikki Mackey, who is an official Matt Damon stalker, <laughs> just like I am. Now, Nikki, you got to actually run into him earlier this week. When and where? Yes, um, it was approximately Tuesday of last week at the Hickory Point Mall in Fort Forsyth. Okay. How did you know that they were going to be there that day? There's like a whole gossip chain. I can't get on indicator. Um, basically, it's who you know and how much money you have. Okay. And I don't have either of those things, but I do know who does. Okay. And so I called them up and find out. And um, we were just at the mall, you know, waiting. And I happened to go to move my car closer to where we were at. And I saw three or four large trailers and the two maroon vehicles that he has supposedly been seen in, which is true. And so I stayed there until he came to do hair and makeup. And he eventually did. And did you have a Matt Damon encounter, or was it more yes. like, oh, no, no, at first it was a high, and then a group of us thought it would be funny to get felt, uh, black felt, and make phony okay. mustaches. And so it caught his attention, and a couple of his, his bodyguard and a major producer came out and actually took our picture with their camera because they thought it was funny. Oh, that is so funny. So he made it a point, you know, to come over since we were making fools of ourselves. So Now, speaking of that bodyguard, I've been told one of Matt's bodyguards looks so much like George Clooney that people are getting confused thinking George Clooney's in the area. I think he, he's got the salt and pepper hair, but he does not look like George Clooney, but he is attractive, and his name is Mark. I don't know his last name. Oh. But his name is Mark, and I don't think that George Clooney's really good in town. Have we seen Mark here today? Yes, he's actually right across the street. Which one's Mark? He's in the cream color ride. Yeah. How you doing? All right, so what was the insider scoop on Matt Damon's bodyguard? He doesn't look that big. Right, he just came up to, to let us know when Matt would be coming out of the trailer and what our chances were to get our picture taken with him. And we were just talking and he said that he was actually here helping Matt Damon, but he was really Will Smith's original bodyguard. He doesn't look like that big of a guy. I know. Oh. I guess up we're close, not that... Up close, he's probably your height. Oh. He's probably... I, mean, I, guess, I guess we're not all that threatening. He was in the army. Oh. I mean, he, he has he can, a pass. He can take us down with his thumb. Yeah, something. All right. <laughs> all right, well, Nikki, I'm glad to see you here today. Thanks. I'm going to try and get my own Matt Damon encounter. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Now we're here with Carmen, who just days ago had a privilege to be an official cast member. Carmen, what role did you play in the movie? I was a background extra. I had to pretend I was taking my daughter's picture for Christmas. Oh, well, that's very in nice. In the Christmas scene of Slay. So, did your daughter get in the film as well? Yes, she did. Okay. Was she an official extra? Yes, she was. That means you get officially paid, right? Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Well, that's very nice. Now, since you were in the film, did you get a chance to maybe get a picture with Matt or get an autograph? No, I did not. Aww. I did see him though, and I said hey, and that was it, and I ran him. Well, you're out here today as we're outside of the Chinese food locale, so today you're just out observing the shoot? I am observing today with hopefully maybe getting a chance to meet him 
autograph. Because usually afterwards, after all his shoots, he'll stop and do 25, 30 autographs, pictures, stuff like that. So maybe, have you maybe gotten, I'll get a chance. Have you to do gotten that. any uh, ideas or advice on where's the best place to be? Whether it would be when he walks out the door, or some people think this is his vehicle. It is. It is his vehicle. That is his vehicle. But they said they don't know who Matt Damon is. They don't know who Matt Damon is. Who's Matt Damon? I just tried to talk to his bodyguard over there, and he tried to tell me he didn't know who Matt Damon was. And we know he knows who Matt Damon no. is. Is he the one that looks like The Rock? That oh, one? no. He looks like The Rock. That's a new one. People told us he looked like George Clooney. That's why they thought George Clooney was indicator. No, I heard. Is he the real dark one? With yeah. The shaved head? Yeah. yeah. See, I have people say that he looks like The Rock. Okay. So, are we going to stay here and hope for a Matt Damon encounter? Is this the best place to be, you think? Right where we're standing? I say we follow the top one whenever it moves, because that's where it's going to be. All right, we're going to follow the top of Matt Damon watch may turn into a run real soon here with WB and Q. Went that way. Well, he's going to do a U-turn. Oh, Tahoe's doing a U. Wow, and Mark gets in charge. He's in charge, isn't he? Let's show Mikhail. And talk soup and then try. We love you, Joel! Somebody's got to talk to Scott. His... There's Scott Bakula. That's what I said. Oh, I didn't see him. And there he goes. All by himself. Oh, want to leave me. watch 2008. We didn't get to touch him, we didn't get to love him, but I got to scream like a psycho fan that he was cool. Now this restaurant is a Decatur legend. 30 minutes ago it was surrounded by the biggest and baddest bodyguards that Hollywood has ever seen. Now you can just walk inside, but it'll always be known as a place where Matt Damon once was. Live from Decatur, I'm Susan from 101.5 WBQ.